Hey, do you like spamming big bodies on the board, spamming more big bodies, and then just punching your opponent in the face or slicing them up and dicing them up, I should say? Then boy, do I have the deck for you. Hello everyone, thank you for turning into T Forbidden's YouTube page. It is I, Scott, otherwise known as Setups on the Fanatic. Back at you with a new deck profile that has actually gotten a lot better come BT16, and it's only just going to get better with the advent of more stuff in EX6 and BT17. And that is Dark Masters with Omnimon. No Apoclemon because that thing is only restricted to one, and the other two aren't really all that useful, in my opinion. At least yet. Chaos, uh, Chaosmon, um, uh, Ultimate Chaos Mind, excuse me, is going to make that very different. But without further ado, let's get into this uh, Mega Ulti Zoo that can cause your opponent a lot of pain. If you really want to be a jerk, you play Security Control or you play this. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it. First off, for our Digi Eggs, we've only got the four Mother D Reaper. You, you don't really run any level threes. This thing is just an extra body. If you want, you can run some of the black base stuff and make it so you have an 18k blocker during either player's turn. But and ultimately, I, I was doing that with this deck, but I ultimately found that to be completely unnecessary. Uh, nine times out of ten, this is just a free extra body that you can delete with your other Dark Masters and do shenanigans with. Speaking of the Dark Masters, we have, for the Servants, we have one, two, three, four copies of Cherrymon, as well as one, two, three, four copies of Gigadramon. Uh, on play, these reveal the top four cards of your deck, add two level six or higher among them, and return the rest to the bottom of the deck. Uh, this one has Reboot for an Inheritable. This is Piercing for an Inheritable. I've seen a lot of people not run as much of the Piercing stuff, the Cherrymon, but... I personally think you need it because some of the best aces are green. Uh, you got the the good aces that are green. You have the good ones that can digivolve on this or this. So uh, pick your poison, basically. Uh, three copies of Scorpio Mon. Uh, same thing. This gives them blocker. Three copies of Lady Devimon. This gives them retaliation. And the biggest FU of this deck, two copies of Edamon. <clears throat> Um, arguably this should be bumped up to three. Um, two seems to work okay for me though. Uh, Lady Devimon and the, uh, Scorpiomon are the same thing as the other two. Uh, you run three of that because Vikamon's a card. Uh, you run three of this because Grand Kawaga Ace is a card. So, the, the Edamon is basically, alright, you attack me, alright, let me go ahead and either Gargo you or Vikamon you and go from there. Uh, the Edamon is the on-player when digivolving until the end of your opponent's turn. One of their Digimon gets minus 3,000, and then it has to attack. This is basically just, let me just mess with your bodies that are already on board, and then blast Digivolve and stop your attack, and hopefully end your entire game state. Into the Dark Masters! We are only running the four copies of Machine Dramon, and the four copies of Piedmon. The other ones are not necessary. They can't digivolve into Zord. That's basically what it comes down to. For our aces, we have three copies of Vikemon. This thing is stupid. It's easily the best ace in BG16. Uh, basically, almost nothing has uh, protection against D-Digivolve, unless you're a Tyrant Kabaterimon. But this deck basically just goes a little faster than Tyrant Kabaterimon, and it's, it's dumb. Three Grand Kawaga Ace... Because this thing suspends and kills tamers and stuns stuff. It's also really stupid. It can also attack twice, which is also really stupid. And two copies of Mega Gargomon. If this thing were on play or when digivolving, it would literally be the best ace ever. But, yeah, you can play all of these, all three of these, off of Zwart if you have to. Which is dumb. Uh, either that or you just blast Digivolve on top of them and do shenanigans. But yeah, that, that, that's it for all the sixes. Uh, thing I may have forgot to mention, these guys play each other. 
And you can also play them for free into your breeding area by sacrificing one of the servants or having the servant sacrifice a body. Hence the Mother D-Reaper, because you can blow, pop the D-Reaper, put this in the breeding area, and you have an Omnimon ready next turn, or shenanigans to do next turn. All right, speaking of the Omnis, we have one, two, three, four copies of Omnimon's Wart. Boy, this card is nuts in this deck. Play out the Servants. Uh, the mill three, play out the servants up oh, and you can return your stuff to your hand and pop bodies on board and do shenanigans from there. Uh, three copies of Zwart Defeat. Um, I know a lot of builds run four. I've tried four. It just doesn't work as well for me for whatever reason. Um, the only thing to be careful about these last two is these last two Omnimons are not white. So you can't digivolve over your Dark Masters with them. However, Merciful Mode does deal with New Maimon very nicely. Because you basically just kill all their stuff for every level 6 or 7 in your sources. And then you bottom deck up to 10 cards, which will mess with the on-deletion effects. Uh, but this thing can only go over your um, uh, Vikemon. Or either your, your Grand Kawaga or uh, Gargamon naturally. So you have to watch out for that. Otherwise, you have to go for two on top of one of your other Omnis. Uh, speaking of, this thing can also basically only go over your other Omnis, or it can go on top of the Mega Gargamon Ace or the Vikemon. Uh, don't recommend doing that, because if you use that effect, you're going to overflow your opponent on attack. But, yeah, the, these things are very, very nice, depending on the situation. And I feel like d d just the, this amount of Omnimons is practically perfect. Uh, into the Tamers, we have three copies of Digimon Emperor. Uh, what does this do? It stops Ukomon strategies, and it lets you draw extra cards whenever you blow stuff up. Relatively self-explanatory. Uh, two, Tiny and Matt. This helps you get some extra memory and gives your Omnimons a little more pressure. And then two, X Program, because it's the best white option card in the game right now. So... Yeah, that's it. That's uh, Dark Masters Omnimon. Uh, feel free, give it a try. It's a really brutal deck. Uh, it, basically, if your opponent doesn't have an entire uh, entire Tyrant Kabu Terry stack, it can actually just completely wreck them, depending on what it does. It actually wrecked Eric a few nights ago. Uh, I was actually surprised. I thought I was going to have a really hard time against it, but if you're able to get your pieces going, they can't do anything. Uh, but guys, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell down below for notifications, and we'll catch you guys next time.